Hello everybody and welcome to my A Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be continuing on the last tutorial on if statements. Now in the last tutorial we created this program to uh, say so the user inputs a password and if the password is correct then it goes access granted and if it's incorrect then it comes up as incorrect. That was based off of passwords equaling user passwords. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to be going through using the not equal to our operator and also using a button to run your macro rather than uh, using the alt F8. So to start off with I'm going to show you the not equal to operator. So instead of having password equal to user passwords we can switch out the equal to for uh, less than and greater than. This represents not equal to so if password doesn't equal user password and then we're going to want to swap these around because otherwise it's it's going to come up with access granted when they put in the wrong passwords and we don't want that. So change that and then say if password doesn't equal user password then message box password incorrect else message box access granted. So if we run this then I'll just do it quickly so we'll put in the right password then OK, access grants. So it's, it's swapped them around and used not equal to instead. So this is useful, especially as you can have, say, not equal to nothing. And then that means equal to something. So if they put anything in, then it will run whenever you want it to run. Uh, and if they put nothing in, then it'll, you could put no no message inputs or something like that. So that's quite a useful one to have. Uh, and then I mentioned I was going to show you how to use a button to run your macro rather than Alt F8. So this is how you do it. If you use any auto shape, uh, you can square, circle, uh, I like to use this one, rounded rectangle, but any auto shape will do. And then just add text, say sign in. Then you can format your auto shape however you like. I like to have everything in the center. And I also like it to have a little bit of of colour in it, so let's make this one purple and bold. You don't, you don't need to do that, you can just leave it plain and you don't even need any writing in it, but it just looks a little bit nicer, it makes it a bit clear where you're meant to press, say, and then if you right click on here and go to assign macro, this brings up a similar pane to all F8 and you just click on the macro you want it to run and then press OK and then deselect the macro by clicking off into a cell. Then you'll notice now when I hover over this box it comes up with the little hyperlink hand so if I click that then my macro starts to run. This is a lot better for if you're creating macros for other people to use because anyone who doesn't understand how to use Visual Basic won't know the command Alt plus F8 so they'll need a easier access so here they'll be able to click sign in and they'll be able to sign in now what we've got here is is okay it comes up with access granted but really what we want it to do is then do some kind of program after it. So I'm going to put in a really simple uh, bit of code in. So after it's done that I want it to say 
welcome. Oh, I want this cell to say welcome. So this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot value equals and then we'll make it equal to a string say welcome to the forum say Let's run this now, say password protected. Let's put in, say I'm guessing what it is, so knock, knock. Okay, password incorrect, okay. I've got a debug error. The reason for this debug error is that I haven't put in the actual cell reference. So I'm trying to change the whole value of the sheets. So pretty amateur mistake, so I apologize for that. So if I put in cells row one, column one, dot value, and then a uh, nifty little trick, because you're probably going to get debug errors like this come up quite a lot may already have done if you've been following these tutorials if you press F8 then it runs the next line of code so if we go back in here then it's now run that line of code press F8 it finishes it so we can actually watch it one step at a time make password equal to password come up with an input box does the input box if password equals password then it doesn't equal use password then and then notice how it's gone into this line because this is the section for when password doesn't equal use of passwords and then it comes up with password incorrect and then it skips this bit this section here so using F8 is quite useful for debugging but back to this so it's come up with welcome but we don't want it to come up with welcome for anyone who gets the password wrong it's because well they they haven't got in yet we don't want to be welcoming them until they've got the password right and we know they're part of the forum so the reason it's done this is because I've put it after the end if so if I copy this now and paste this in here instead before the end if, then this is only going to run if password equals user password. Um, because password doesn't equal user password and it's in the else. So it's when this statement here is false. So when the statement password doesn't equal user password is false which would be when password does equal user password. <laughs> it does get a little bit complicated but if you think it out logically then you can normally figure it out so if we run this again sign in and I'm in break mode because I was still running the program so just click stop and then if we click sign in again if we put in a random letters password incorrect and then it hasn't come up with welcome whereas if we click sign in and put passwords okay access granted, brilliant, just what we wanted and it's come up with welcome so just make sure that all of your statements that you only want to be done for if it's true or if it's false and not both times just make sure they're all before the end if and before the else if that statement's true so thanks for listening and I uh, hope you'll be catching into the next tutorial that we'll be going into using greater than or less than in an if statement.